A few months ago, I made a video detailing my process as to how I got extended security updates, or ESU updates, from Windows Embedded POS Ready 7 to work on regular Windows 7. Ever since, I've been getting asked the same question from you guys either on YouTube or Discord, which is, is there any way to get extended security updates on Windows 8.1? For a long time, I thought that it was impossible, that Windows 8.1 and Server 2012 simply had too many differences for updates to be applicable. I tried a number of different methods and none of them worked. But at last, after months of research and some help from another Windows 8 user, I finally managed to get ESU updates working on Windows 8.1. This is proof that the latest ESU update is running on Windows 8.1. This is not Windows Server 2012 R2 themed to look like Windows 8.1. This is the real deal. As you can see, it's running the security update from October of 2023 at the time when I'm making this video and it is basically guaranteed security updates until January of 2026. Side note, this method will not work on the 32-bit version of Windows 8.1 as it relies on Server 2012 R2 ESU updates. So if you're using 32-bit Windows, you're out of luck, unfortunately. With that out of the way, this is how I got the updates. The first thing you need to do is get a fresh install of Windows 8.1. This step doesn't require any instructions, as it's likely if you're following this tutorial, you already know how to do a fresh install of Windows 8.1. The next step is to start updating your system. Go to Internet Explorer and download Windows Update Mini Tool from Major Geeks. The link will also be included in the description for those people too lazy to search for the link themselves. Make sure you are downloading the mini tool from this link and this link only as I cannot guarantee that any other link will work. After downloading, unzip the folder and click on WUMT 64EXE. You should be greeted by a program that looks something like this. Go ahead and search for updates from Windows Update. This may take a while depending on how out of date your ISO is. In my case, my ISO was quite outdated, so it took a long time to get all the updates. After you install all the updates available, restart your system and go back to the update tool after restarting. Check again for updates and install the updates that are offered to you the second time so that you don't miss any updates. After restarting again, go back and check for updates again just to make sure for a final time that your system is fully updated. As you can see, I learned my lesson from the last video I made about this topic. Once you've fully updated, it's time to get some stuff required for the ESU to work. Go to catalog.update.microsoft.com and search for the following updates, KB5017-220 and KB5029. The first one should be an ESU licensing package for Windows 8.1. Go ahead and grab the 64-bit download. The second should be a quality or security update or something like that, which you will also need for the next part. Next, go to 7zip.org and download the latest version of 7zip. Don't worry, it will work on Windows 8. Last, click on the Google Drive link down in the description to access Bypass ESU Blue, the final piece of the puzzle that you will need to get these updates working. First, go and install the ESU licensing update. This should install perfectly fine if you've updated your system to the maximum that it can go. Restart your computer and then install 7-zip to access the archive. Open the Bypass ESU Blue archive. If it asks for a password, the password is 2023. Extract the contents of the archive to a folder on your desktop. Open the Live Setup CMD as administrator and click 5 to install the ESU patcher on your system. It should install without an issue and you will need to restart after. Finally, install the last update that you got from the Microsoft Update Catalog. This update should also install without any issue. And once again, you need to restart your system. Now, you are actually ready to get ESU updates. The final step is to, of course, actually get the ESU updates. Go back to catalog.update.microsoft.com and search for Windows Server 2012 R2 Security. You should be greeted with many results, but the one you want to focus on is the security monthly quality rollup for Windows Server 2012 R2 for x64 based systems. Click download and download the update. You can then install it like normal, it will take a while since there are bloated updates, but it should go off without a hitch. Once it prompts you to, go ahead and restart your computer for the last time. And congratulations, you are now the proud owner of an up-to-date Windows 8.1 install. These updates will last for at least the next two years, so you are covered to use Windows 8.1 safely until then. If you appreciated the video and want to help your fellow Windows 8.1 users out, drop a like and comment so that this video gets boosted by the algorithm. Until then, see you all next time.